My name is Dwayne Burks. I'm the executive director of the Gaston Faith Network, and you're listening to a series of audio presentations about how to plug in in our community in Gaston County. How can I, as a member of a house of worship or as a community group or as a resident, move from the seat I'm sitting in to the street and, and make a difference? What can I do? And if you look down the list of videos, you'll see an opportunity for our Resource Connection Center. You'll see things like Keeping Families Intact, which is an initiative of the Y. But I want to tell you in this short video about one operation, one opportunity in our county that's just great. It's called the, the Faith Health NC. Faith Health NC. And it's focused heavily on the faith and human service and civic community. And here's basically how it works. One of the things we've learned over the past few years in working on these projects is that many people come into our local hospital. We have one main hospital here in Gaston County, Caremont. They come into that hospital and they get their treatment and they are discharged. But some people don't have the support mechanisms around them. It's not necessarily a financial thing. They just don't have the support mechanisms when they get home after a week in the hospital to go get fresh milk. Um, maybe they can't drive. Maybe they've broken a bone. They can't drive. Maybe their children live far away. All kinds of things can contribute to that. But they don't have fresh food. Their, their food has been there for a week while they were in the hospital, and they're hungry. Or maybe they don't have um, the means to get to their, their pharmacy to pick up the drugs that they need, the, the, the prescribed drugs, so that they can take them properly. Maybe they don't understand fully all the things that go into taking care of themselves, uh, you know, how to, how to reach out and get the help that they need. Maybe they're just lonely. You know, they just need somebody that can talk with them because d depression certainly can set in after a week in the hospital and you return home to an empty house. Well, there are clinical ways to address all those things. And in the clinical need, when the clinical needs arrived, we want to meet them clinically. But there are also some really practical ways. And we have initiated a program, Faith Health NC. It's being used extensively in Memphis. It's also being used in Forsyth County with great success. We have It has been initiated in Gaston. And here's what it involves. It involves houses of worship permitting themselves to be made available and to receive some training for key members who become liaisons, as it were to these folks who are discharged from the hospital and may need some extra supports. And you would be the person they call. So if your church happens to be in Ranlow and someone is discharged from the hospital and they live in Ranlow or in Bessemer City and your church is there or in, in South Gastonia, whatever, Cherryville, wherever your church is or your house of worship, and this person's discharged, when they're discharged, they're told by the social worker at the hospital and their case manager there, you're going to hear from Sally Smith at XYZ Church. She is part of our Faith Health NC partnership. She's a volunteer. And your, your role may be to simply call this dear person who's been discharged and just check on them every day. Make sure they're okay. You may be responsible for helping them get a meal um, every other day for a couple days while they, they get back on their feet. They may want you to take them to the, to the doctor. You say, well, I can't drive with anybody. I can't put anybody in my car. Well, not everybody has to drive. But here's the interesting thing. Those who do volunteer to drive, we partner with a group that is Central Lina, uh, the Central Lina group. You receive full training. You receive equipment. You receive complete insurance coverage. And if you do this driving, you receive a stipend for your miles. And, it's a, and you're in complete control the whole time. You, you can do that. We don't transport children. We only transport adults. And we don't transport anyone that's not safe to be transported. So what a great opportunity. What a great opportunity for a church who maybe is, is aging a little bit to engage your members who are still healthy, but have a, they're, they're retired or close to retirement, semi-retired, but they're still healthy. They have things to give back. What a great opportunity for your church to move just outside its walls in its own community and get to know some people. Visit them in their homes if that's appropriate. Call them on the phone. Spend time with them and help them move not just from spirit to spiritual healthfulness, 
but to physical whole, whole, to be physically whole, to recuperate, and hopefully not have to go back in the hospital or be put in a long or a short-term care facility, but to be able to recuperate right there at home. They'll have the medical supports; those will be in place. They'll have the doctors, the nurses, all those people. But this is the social support. This is the the human support, that human touch. If you're interested in this, and you say, "Boy, our church would like to do that," or "We'd like to know more about it," here's how you can find out. Just pick up your phone and text or call 704-860-2957. 704-860-2957. And all you have to do is, is type faith health. Just send me those two words, faith health, F-A-I-T-H, health. And I will get back in touch with you and we'll make arrangements to show you more about the program and hopefully get your church, your civic group, your book club, your neighborhood watch. What a great opportunity for neighborhood watches um, to get involved. We'll get you hooked up and get you trained and you can decide if this is informed. You can decide if this is something your group wants to pursue.